Attention, attention, bozos and uh, homies. Uh, uh. We got the card game for sale, which is running out, and we also got some live dates that just keep on trucking. Gang, the card game is running out. We're running out of supplies. Do yourself a favor. Act now. Pick up the card we're game. We're never making it again. It's the last time we're making this edition, so do yourself a favor. Pick up a pack. Let's go. Uh, yeah, guys. We also, uh, this month in November, we have two shows in Atlanta. One sold out. Early Tickets still left for the early show, and then we're going to Charlotte, North Carolina. Carolina, get those tickies. Please. Philadelphia, two shows are sold out. We got some tickets left in Providence on the second show. Get those tickets. And Boston's about to sell out. If you're in if you're in Beantown, let's go. Let's party. Do it, gang. We love you. Gang, this episode is brought to you by our good friends at Established Titles. With Established Titles, you can buy as little as one square foot of dedicated land, and you yourself can be a lord or a lady. It's a fun way to preserve the Scottish woodlands. With every order established, plants a tree and works with global charities to support global reforestation efforts. That's all well and good, but be fucking cool. Become a lord. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I mean, the tree, cool. That's gravy on top, but you can become a lord. Gives you at least, uh, like you said, one square foot of dedicated land on a private estate in Edelston, Scotland. Official certificate. Win a crest. Peep this one. Hit him with the close-up. Uh, makes an amazing last-minute gift. Established Titles is actually running an early Black Friday sale. Plus, if you use code GARBAGE, you'll get an additional 10% off. Go to EstablishedTitles.com slash GARBAGE. Get your gifts now and help support the channel. Do it. Yeah. Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey, everybody out there, and welcome back to everybody's favorite new podcast. This is R.U. Garbage. Oh, yeah. It's that little show we sit down with your favorite comedians, and we find out they grew up to be classy, mm-hmm. or if they're just a big old piece of trash. I'm your host, H. Foley, coming at you on a beautiful day. It's Halloween down here in Antutti's basement. You ain't lying. She's upstairs loading up the cooler, giving away four locos this year. <laughs> All right, so nice. Make sure you stop by Tootie's <laughs> early, kids, because the watermelon ones are going to go quick. My co-host is coming at you from right next to me. He is the CEO of Are You Garbage? He's dressed like Sam Elliott for Halloween. Give it up for KJ, <laughs> Kevin James Ryan. <laughs> What's up, gang? When I knew I was going to catch shit on this. Uh, I bought it in Europe, all right? I'm trying to expand my horizons. <laughs> You got the Dickies in Europe? Yeah. That's it was trash. A, it was discount, too. <laughs> Not bragging. I got my Carhartt from Milan. <laughs> It only cost them three crew. Oh, your thought is I went all the way to Europe and the, where high fashion is and I bought tickets. Uh, fair enough. Uh, guys, make sure you rate, review, subscribe on iTunes. Full video available on YouTube as you yeah. know those numbers are. True to real. Closing Country. in on 100,000. And Let's then obviously go. the greatest website of all time, www.patreon.com. Here, slash here. are you garbage. Check it the fuck out, gang. It's a party over there. Yeah, do us a solid, gang. Having a nice quick shout out to our producer extraordinaire, <laughs> the magic man. Makes us all look good. Works the ones and twos. Crosses the T's and dots the I's. Uh-huh. Give it up for T-Bone McScruffins. Toby McMullen, everybody. What's up, dude? What's up, hey, T-Bone? Speaking of bone, you got a unit. I can see it from here. <laughs> yeah, he's you didn't a, know that? He's got a oh, hog on it. Legendary. I can't not look at yeah. it. Well, I don't need to say anything else. <laughs> sorry, sorry. He's got that big old Zuz each. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Bone in. <laughs> Holy hell. <laughs> Fucking Tomahawk Jones over yeah, here. Yeah, right. <laughs> Gang, we couldn't be more excited to have our incredibly (laughs) special (laughs) guest. There was a comic in the 70s who was a Native American. Now he'd go, hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Carson. Uh (laughs) Swear to God. It was a good bit then. It's a good bit now. It still works. Sorry. That would be silly. Ladies and gentlemen. It's called The Guardian. (laughs) All right. We could not be more excited to have our incredibly special guest back with us again today. He's family at this point. This might God be your number it. five, maybe four or five. Ooh, Ooh, you're up there. Ooh, you know him from We hard. Might Be Drunk. You know him from Tuesdays with Stories. He's all over the place. Got a theater tour kicking off, baby. Hachi, out there doing theaters. Pick up a couple of ticks. MarkNormanComedy.com. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up. Mark Norman, everybody. Hey. Look at him. Hey, hey. Marky good to be Mark. back. Came in look, looking tight when you came in, too. Thank you. I did a pull up on a scaffolding like a real mook. Oh, that's <laughs> a real dirt ball move. Gets the blood pumping, you know? <laughs> I made, what are those pants you're wearing? They're like, oh. seeing. They seem these. expensive. No, they they were a gift. I got them uh, in Europe. No, <laughs> they were a gift from Chubby's. Chubby's will throw me oh, some free clothes every some now and then. Some athleisure wear, I believe it's called. Thank you. Sal Vacano put us onto that. Chubby's, oh, huh? Wear. Really? 
I like the yeah. sound of that. I notice like the guys who work the least wear the most like leisurely shit. Yeah. You know, it's track suits, it's uh, velour, uh-huh. it's, it's a bathrobe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These guys aren't doing shit. Mm-hmm. I know. I that's why like I it's a mental thing for me. Like if I don't put on a pair of jeans and something, I feel like I'm not working. Right. I'm like I gotta. Be a little bit uncomfortable in a pair of jeans. I if I'm too agree. comfortable in sweatpants, I feel like the biggest piece of shit. You know, I'm, you see these queefs in the airport. They're full. <laughs> it's crazy, dude. Up to top with the Crocs on, and they got the hood up and a, and a pillow. You're, and you're, like, you're sitting next to one oh, over here. Put I'm, a pair of denim on. I'm, yeah, curr- I'm currently wearing uh, shorts, short pajama sleepers. <laughs> it's oh, bad, dude. With Crocs yeah. with no shoes. Mm-hmm. Look at those. Th- or Crocs with <laughs> <Yeah>. no socks. <laughs> Got some gams over here. Oh, like some ham rocks, rocks, baby. This is a Penn Station outfit right here. <laughs> <laughs> this is, yeah, all he needs station. is a pair of alligator shoes to go with it. <laughs> Eating a Dunkin' Donuts sandwich out of the bag. <laughs> the uh, right, here's, I got no spots tonight, and I'm going back to clean my apartment, so I wanted to stay in the in, So you in showed up zone. to work like a homeless guy. <laughs> yeah. Plus, I have no clothes. You're dressed for a call for help, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I do look like a jumper, don't I? <laughs> like a 10 o'clock you jumper just can't on the jeep. can't get on top of anything. W Bridge. <laughs> I heard you're on the weight uh, loss ga- uh, game now. <laughs> All I right. heard you're trying. I heard you're trying. I don't know. I am trying, Mark. Thank you very <laughs> no, much. I appreciate oh, it. I no, he's heard. not. Check out that Patreon.com for updates. It oh, ain't good. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to bring I, up. I went, uh, I went, I went, dropped about 30, and then I went up about 20. So uh, I'm trying to go right. back so down you're, again. You're low 10. That was that's... yesterday. No. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, yeah. you talk about weight like a casino. <laughs> <laughs> I'm up. I'm up right now. <laughs> <laughs> they switched dealers. I got screwed. <laughs> Pit boss, give me the eye. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a barbecue pit boss. This one's got a heater already, <laughs> folks. <laughs> Playing with rib bones. <laughs> <laughs> he loves chips. <laughs> uh, I do okay. like chips. Uh, it's good. Halloween. Uh, yes, you got that right. No candy corn, please. You fucking it's the worst. Really? Candy oh. corn's the worst. That's crazy talk. Yuck, chalky, waxy, gross. I don't mind it in very small. A hand, like a one handful in the season, that'll be it. I love it. Year. I love it. I like the pumpkins too. The candy corn pumpkins. Those are better. The whole nine yards. I'm all about it. What did you? What, what did you do as a kid for? Halloween? Did you have like a traditional house to house? Wasn't a great neighborhood, right? No, we lived in a rough area, so we'd go to my friend's house in the suburb, mm-hmm. and the parents would kind of lag 10 feet behind, sure. and we would all skip to the loo with our little lan- uh, jack-o'-lanterns, although I did a, a Schwegman's bag, which is our grocer. <laughs> okay. Schwegman's? Plastic bag or, yeah. Grocery bag, double bagged, and, uh, you know... You, you, you dress, I always did the, uh, I dressed up too late and just would put something on. Uh-huh. One time I put on a vest and my friend's like, what are you? And I'm like, I'm a spy. <laughs> and they were like, ah. I'm a gay spy, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I could see you phoning it in with the costume. Big phone, big did, phone. Did you ever have like a proper, what was your bet? Do you remember your best one of like, maybe your mom hit it out of the park? Or for whatever reason, you splurge, splurge a couple of bucks. Well, remember this is the late '80s, early '90s. So I did a couple, a uh, couple Native Amers. <laughs> that was know. big back. You could buy that at the store at the time, though. That's not <laughs> big, your fault. Totally, with the full feather uh-huh. and everything, <laughs> scalp. That <laughs> <laughs> the bow and arrow too. Yeah, yeah that was that big. Was the little dart. Uh, so, but then the, the, the big one was the, uh, the ghost with the sheet, but you're so close to clan, you know, you're right <laughs> real, on clan, real close. especially in the South. That's a bad look. Yeah. yeah. You'd make the wrong turn. Yeah. But, uh, it was fun. I mean, ha- Halloween was huge. Just the free, the idea of anything free giving away to children was huge. Yeah. And great. also down there too. Don't they really get into that shit? The real, the like spooky the side of things. Bit. Oh, we're the very ghosts. spooky. Yeah. yeah. And, and also pre-internet, we had a couple houses on, uh, on our route to school that that would really go hard. Love Did that. you guys have that in, in your city? Of sure, course, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. There's always that. They, Christmas, Someone really went heavy, yeah. Heavy. I'm talking skeletons in the front yard, and they would name the one. They would be like, uh, Here lies Jenkins or whatever. No, but it would be puns. I'm oh. trying to think of a good one. Like, uh, uh, shit, hold on. Would you, give, me, give me a celebrity. Al Trebek. All right. Uh, <laughs> Give me a location. And an Joan, Rivers, Joan Rivers. Joan Rivers. Joe, it'd be Bone Rivers. Ooh. Oh, there you go. Yeah, just, yeah. I kind of painted a, a corner a with Trebek. Wig on, I know. You know? <laughs> Mozart. Uh, yeah. Henry yeah. Kissinger. Go. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Uh, yeah. Alex Trebek. <laughs> That's what popped in my head. I don't know. Bad. <laughs> Whatever happened to him? <laughs> he died, right? Ah, we're getting old. Uh, oh, yeah, we are. I was sad about uh, the guy Leslie. You know Leslie, the little guy. Yeah, no, I didn't know. I can't that. think of his last name. The gay guy. He was in uh, yes. Will and Grace. Yeah, he was or in Will something. and Grace. Uh, and then he got big on like TikTok or started something. started cooking. 
on uh, Instagram and stuff over the pandemic. He's doing little voices or whatever. Yeah. You Norm, know what we're talking about? Yeah, yeah. I think I know what you're talking about. Norm MacDonald had that, the great point about, uh, he's like, it's weird that Will and Grace is like this progressive show, but every time they talk about being gay, the crowd laughs. You know? Oh, they go, be right. Like, so I hooked up with a man last night. The crowd's like, ah! Yeah, cue laughter. Cue yeah. Well, that's, Damn. How is that not offensive? <laughs> yeah. They're but, laughing at the wrong thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Norm, <laughs> the king. Whatever uh, happened to that guy? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Sorry. Shout out to Norm. Yeah. Don't be but yeah sorry. Halloween, we, we we do appreciate the ladies with the, uh, Man, the hoary in, outfits. In college, that was oh. the fucking best. Dude, a freshman in college, that really fucking blew your head off. Everybody the first wins. Halloween party you went to, you're like, what the fuck? When it was insane. fresh, too. I feel like they didn't really, unless it's just, you know, the way I see it, that that didn't really start until we were getting of age. That really blew up. Like, you I don't think? remember as a kid seeing, like... I don't think in the 60s and 70s they were dressing up as, like, hoary nurse. Maybe yeah. they were. I don't know. Some There was probably one girl. Yeah. Really, yeah. Who was, she was the Jackie let, Robinson yeah, of Yeah, let's whores. thank her. Man. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Shout out to that dumb whore, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Good for her. And it just started a movie because other girls go, well, she get, now she's looking hotter than me. Uh-huh. I got to yeah. compete. It was every dude, right. like, the baseball outfit. It was, oh. like, literally just every... That was, like, the big joke. It was, like... Whatever it is, the hoary version of anything, and they made it work. It was all oh right. yeah, sexy uh, zombie Martha Washington, whatever. Yeah, <laughs> sexy vampire. I, the biggest. I got fired once off a gig. This is a, this is a whole side story, but I'll make it quick. No, make it long. I got a Halloween gig. Somebody's like, "We saw you at the Comedy Cellar. We like your irreverent." edgy attitude, whatever the fuck. Sure. And it's some exec. And he hired me to host a Halloween costa- costume contest on AOL. It was a big deal. They're going to stream it back when streaming was like a, a big thing. AOL. AOL was five grand. It was the most money i ever seen in my life. They go, we want you to judge the Halloween costume contest. And I go, you got it. Full audience. And they go, be edgy. I go, great. So uh, this uh, African queen comes on. Oh, She's boy. sexy and whatever. And then as she's walking off, Catwoman walks on, you know, hot lady with the tight skin, and she's whipping. And I go, hey, watch that whip around the African. I mean, the camera's wilted. The, the lights went out. You they, hear the power I, cut? I got fired immediately. <laughs> I think I remember hearing yeah. you telling True that. story. Jeez. But, you know, you think be edgy. when, but they're Our edgy, edgy our is edgy. way different than an AOL edgy. Exactly. For sure, you know. <laughs> Woo. Did you do mischief night when you were a kid? Would you get into oh, trouble? Yeah. That oh, was yeah. big. Big time. We always got caught, too. We, we, we egged a house, and we ran home, and they just saw the house we went in. Ding dong. Yeah. And the mom yelled at us. Yeah, what did sucks. you call? We've talked about this. I don't know if we haven't done it in a while. What did you call when you would knock on the door and run away? Uh, we called it a ding dong and run or something like there that. There was ding knock dong ditch. Ding dong ditch. Yeah. That's it. There was a really bad one. Somebody the worst w- Asian porn star, by the way. Ding dong <laughs> bitch. I don't know if you know her. Uh, okay. I like her work. <laughs> yeah. Um, knock, knock, zoom, zoom, people would say as a kid. and it's just, That's pussy shit. It sounds knock so and run. stupid. Knock, knock, zoom, zoom. No, yeah. Which sounds, it doesn't make any sense. No. What did, what did you guys call uh, Dine and Dash? Dine and Dash? Uh, there, well, wasn't there another Eaton? There's another one. There's, uh, Never did it. Uh, eat and run or eat and run. there was there no, uh, another one you're right he, he's gonna big dick's gonna pull <laughs> that up bd he's using his penis on the computer which is by crazy. the way we had the hot guy in our group he was ripped and he would go as a baby every year and that oh, he would clean up man. got clean a pacifier up, a diaper yep. and that's show it. in the pack when you were that's older it. like college you're talking about yeah yeah, yeah. It'd be weird if he was doing it in like second grade <laughs> <laughs> got the teachers all over him <laughs> Great uh, David Tell line. Halloween, or as I call it, the Super Bowl for pedophiles. <laughs> <laughs> Man, he's good. He's pretty good, that guy. Mm-hmm. Dude, some of these are fucking terrible. Oh, yeah. Chew and skidoo. Oh. That, that's fun, though. That's, that's got to be Canadian. That's, ca- <laughs> <laughs> that's got real Saskatchewan vibes. Yeah. That's chew and skidoo, eh? I left a toonie. <laughs> Tip and dip? That ain't bad. Tip and dip's all right. That's not great because you're still you're tipping. You're still tipping. Yeah. <laughs> this one's just a shot at Penn State style. I don't know. Oh, wow. Mm. Krampus, Shaker High School, yeah. Flutter Dash. Oh, I thought that was a famous one. Flutter I'm Dash. Forgetting. I think Dine and Dash is the most famous. Did you do that? I never did I've that. Never did it. I did it like twice and felt horrible about it. Oh, you know? yeah. One time I left my jacket, so I felt like that was a sign. Did you have to go back? <laughs> yeah, and get... I went back and You got did? It. I put on blackface and went back. <laughs> I didn't know it was me. But no. Dude, my, my a couple buddy. of white kids stole my jacket. Yeah. You see it anywhere in here? Yeah, they're always stealing I our culture. 
sorry. No, 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 no. <laughs> my buddy tried it one time. He was drunk and he like went in by himself and like sat down, ate, had a beer or two, and was like, "All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. I know where the back door is. I'm gonna make a run out of the back door." But in his drunken stupidness, he made a right instead of a left and ended up in the kitchen. Oh! And Bubba said, like, he was just cornered, and he was like, all right, I'll pay. I'm sorry. That's a great. I would just pick up a dish. You got me. You, you got, got me. me. One, of my, one of my greatest victories in life was I was, uh, I was waiting tables at this place in Murray Hill. This is before I did comedy when I lived up here the first time. I was at a real low point. A lot of drugs, fucking by myself. It was a bad situation. Yeah. I'm working there St. Patrick's Day. Ooh. There's two fucking douchebags in there. One of them's wearing a kilt. Oh, boy. They sit down. They eat. They're drinking. They're getting up. They're going to the bar. This and that. Starting to fill in at night for the fucking St. Patrick's Day. Blah, 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 blah. They ask for the check. The one guy goes to the bathroom. And this one fucking dickhead that was, that was wearing the kilt just bolts out the door. And he bolts out. the. This is so I'm on thir- the corner of 30th between 2nd and 1st. Mm. So he bolts out the door and he goes around down 2nd Avenue towards 29th Street. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, fuck this. I just I was fucking so mad. Yeah, I go out and I go the other way and fucking just hoping. I was like, I'll be back in fucking five minutes. Fucking run out, run the other way. Fucking catch him running down the street and just fucking clothesline. No oh, love a good clothesline. Fucking wow. grab him. And this guy <laughs> should have been able to kick my ass. He was like fucking sick something. Sure. But I think just the fucking anger and the fucking whatever. Wow. Fucking clotheslined him, grabbed him, fucking drug him back to the fucking no bar way. and made him pay. Yeah. Somebody's like, this guy's beating up that trans woman. <laughs> 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 What's that fat kid doing? <laughs> yeah, it felt great. Well, uh, two two things there. One, if you're going to get away, the kilt, you're fucked because that's not it, a, it's spot obvious. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah. two, that's not even Irish. That's yeah, Scottish. that's Scottish. So he's all—he's got the wrong holiday. Fucking douchebag. You were his yeah. William Wallace, baby. He didn't <laughs> see you coming at all. <laughs> I tried it once. We went. Me and my buddy were day drinking early, and then it was in New York. Went to like a nice place. I always wanted to find it. it. Was like a hotel. I think it's called like the Marlton Hotel down in the West Village, like maybe like 9th Street or something mm. like that. Oh, I know this the, spot. It might be the Marlton Hotel. You walk, it's like real cozy. cozy. You dined and dash there? No, we. I had gone there on a date before, and I was like, I know this nice, I know this real fancy place. Yeah, great and I lobby. know where all the cameras are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I cased the joint. Yeah, it's like heat. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I got the blueprints. Don't worry. We'll be all right. I was sitting there, and the bartender was being a fucking jerk off. Mm-hmm. And me, it was just me and my buddy in there, and he was like making us, we were the only two at the bar. He was making us wait for drinks and just being mm-hmm. rude. So I texted my buddy like, yo, let's fucking, I was, we were wasted. I'm like, let's, you know, let's fucking get out of here, dude. Let's just run, not don't pay this guy. Really? Yeah, and he's like, all right. So I was like. This is recently. Yeah, I mean, a couple of years ago. Holy five shit, years ago, I didn't maybe. know about this. Yeah. But this is more about sticking it to the douche than it is about no pay. Yeah, this is fuck this guy. This guy was being the biggest dickhead. And, you know, I'm typically very good to servers and everything like that, but I was like, fuck this guy. And I was like, all right, let's get out of here. And I guess he heard us planning. And he turns and he's like, you guys are going to think about running out, are you? And we're like, no, Whoa. sir, I swear to God. Here's a million dollars. Have a nice night. Wow. Yeah, he sniped us pretty hard. You pussy. Damn. I, I probably pussed out real quick. What so. about the cab ditch? You ever I, done- it's funny. I did that once. That's too scary to Not me. that long ago. I don't do th- they got the could have a gun they're or a nuts. switch you, or dude, something. They're they're crazy. A switch. What, what do you call that thing that it extends that uh, baton? Wait. Yeah. It's like oh, a, those things. Yeah, I've Scorpion seen them. from Mortal Kombat. <laughs> <laughs> no, Get over here. here. No, like the blackjack type. <laughs> yes. Thing. Oh yeah. man. Dude, one of those will take your knees. Oh, no dude. shit. Take a tooth out real quick. Yeah. I yeah. did it. I think right before the pandemic. Do you remember? Yeah, your card got declined. Yeah, my card Ooh. got declined. We were, I was fucking fucked up, broke in a cab. About a block away from my apartment in Queens, and I think I, I I think I mentioned this on a Patreon episode, and I really fluffed it up that like I didn't know, and I you was knew scared. your car. I got knew the exactly what was going yeah. on. Yeah, had my kilt on and everything, <laughs> getting ready to boogie, and um, I was in one of those square ones, the square cabs that have the the sliding like door, the van, oh, van, yeah, yeah, and we I ha- I had him stop on. Uh, a block away from my apartment and I like put the card in and I try to get out. He's like, he's like, yeah, the car didn't go through. I'm like, nah, nah, I went through, uh, man. Be like yeah. that. And then I just fucking bolted. Wow. Now at the time I'm about 425 pounds. Oh my Lord. This guy, I was so running. Bolt, a- it's bolted in, you know, in context. He, I, he wasn't, he wasn't breaking any records. I did yes. a couple of quick zigzags. You know what I mean? A little fucking, <laughs> I went into beast mode real quick. <laughs> And this guy, I'm running up the street, and this guy is going backwards in the car, 
right next to me. Fucking Whoa. had me dead with, with the back door open, laughing his ass Whoa, off. Oh, neck and no neck. <laughs> 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 He's like, where the fuck do you think you're going? <laughs> I thought I was really doing it, man. Wow. He was right there with me, and then I just got to a certain point where I think he didn't give a shit and just just pulled away. You got out of it. I got out of it. Whoa. Yeah. And then Jesus. I I literally ran and I got into my door of my apartment and I collapsed in the lobby, <laughs> like literally, co- like all over fourteen dollars. I could not wow. move. I I had exerted that much energy. Damn. Needed a cheeseburger or something to yeah. bring me back up. <laughs> but then well, the next morning, remember, I, I woke up and I, I tried to find the guy. I tried to look at my receipt and the cab and all that stuff, and I was never able to find him. It's tough. Yeah. yeah. Gary Veter, say what you will. He's four foot one. <laughs> well, say what you will. You know, the Jews. <laughs> yeah. But uh, Kanye. Yeah, there you go. Uh, we were in a cab once, and he accidentally tipped on his card $100. And uh, it was like a $10 ride, and he accidentally tipped sure. 100 mm-hmm. And so now it's $110. And he's like, whoa, whoa, it was... I meant to give you like two bucks. I fucked up. And the guy's like, well, you know, what can you do? This is like a whole language barrier. And he's like, I can't. I don't know how, you know, he was bullshitting. And Gary's like, I'm not getting out of this car till you give me my money. And he's like, I can't. The computer or whatever. And I was, we both had a spot. We're at New York Comic Con right outside. And he's like, I'm not getting out. I'm like, you're going to miss your spot. I'm out of the car at this point, like in the window. Like, dude, you're, you're on. Yeah. I did his time. <laughs> Came out. He's still there. I leave. Oh, I, call, I text him like an hour later. Still in the car. Jesus. The guy was like, all right, get out. Here's, here's, I'll, I'll erase it. Yeah, because so at that point, you're costing, he's losing money. Exactly. I'm like, I can't, I could go make this money. I got to get going here. Exactly. Man. Good Damn, for I Gary. I like that. Tough little guy. He was in that booster seat for an hour. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody unhook him. You know Shout I mean? out to Gary Beater. <laughs> got his little wheel in the pee pee. Okay, let's talk about Helix, baby. Helix, baby. I mastered a beta in one earlier today. Ooh, let's talk about getting a good night's sleep, not naughty stuff, gang. You don't want to be getting your mattress at a mattress store with some bozo with bad breath. Mm-hmm. All right, doesn't talk to short, his wife. Short his... sleeve button up, looking like a bozo. Kids don't look him in the eye. You want to go over to Helix, you want to take the quiz, you want to get the perfect mattress that fits you at Helix Sleep, baby. Yeah, if you sleep hot, if you sleep cold, if you're a big guy, you a fatty. Wh- whatever you need, they got you squared up. Take the two minutes sleep. We've been pushing this for years. They're fantastic. Mm-hmm. I'm on one, baby. I've owned two in my life. They're that good. You take the two minute sleep quiz, me and my lady, we got the Twilight mattress, fantastic, sprung for the king. Easy peasy comes. Uh, Helix knows there's no better way to test out a new mattress uh, than to sleep on it. There you go. So they offer a 100-night risk-free trial. You try out your new Helix mattress, see how your body adjusts. And if you decide it's not the best fit for you, you're welcome to a full refund. Look at Hachi, that. My, that's Look at good that. Guy. That's good business. That's why that Helix is going to be around for a while. That's what they call a no-worry guarantee. Yes, for sure. Uh, Helix is offering up to $200 off all mattress orders and two free pillows for our listeners. Two. Go to helixsleep.com slash garbage. One more time, helixsleep.com slash garbage. With Helix, better sleep starts now. Do it. Do it. Kimmy, let's talk about Butcher Box, baby. Gobble, gobble, let's do it. Let's talk about the holiday season coming up, and you want to get a top-quality turkey, don't you? Yeah, so where you do don't you want to be picking it up at Pep Boys or whatever <laughs> the rest of the bozos are getting it. You want a top quality turkey from Butcher Box. Mm-hmm. And I'll tell you this right now, this is off script. I just I I I, I just got a shipment coming to me. Yeah. yeah. Love that. I got the fifty pound turkey coming. I'm gonna be showing up every bike to Thanksgiving. They sent me everything. I, I'm not even joking. My my wife's making a goulash right now with us with a ribeye they sent over. <laughs> I can't wait to get home. It's a good time over there at that butcher box. And it's turkey season and you wanna get the best top quality turkey that you possibly can and I promise you you're only going to get that at Butcher Box. Mm-hmm. Guys, uh, the main course for Thanksgiving dinner can sometimes be a main source of stress. Not anymore thanks to the good folks at B-Box. Mm-hmm. Butcher Box is offering our listeners free turkey with their first order, baby. Sign up today at butcherbox.com slash AYG. Use code AYG to get one 10 to 14 pound turkey free in your first box. You're covered. What I would do, I would join, get it, have the turkey now, then get another turkey Ooh. later. Double up on the turkey. That's butcherbox.com slash AYG and use the code AYG to claim this deal. Do it. <laughs> it does all even out a little bit. Like I did, I felt like a piece of shit for doing that. I'm, I usually never do stuff like that. I think I was just hemmed up at the time. Yeah. But it does even out. I had one one time where I would I, I'd go to this this place all the time. I was working in Philly at a Macy's, and during my lunch break, I'd go to this. Like, there was like this sports bar, and I would go get like you know a sandwich and a diet coke or whatever. I got chicken fingers and fries. <laughs> Life in the fast. Lane. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> really batting them away with a working stick. at a boss cops. Yeah, <laughs> you got a wild. Wing. I was in college. <laughs> all right, Musk. <laughs> <laughs> he must have been peeling them off of you. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> Wearing my dad's suit too. It was bad, man. 
Oh. Real bad. Wait, what was the occasion? No, I was, I was working at Macy's. Oh, I had to wear a suit. Oh, he was a loser. <laughs> <laughs> it was a loser day at Hooters. <laughs> but so I ordered whatever it was like. Say it was twelve bucks. I tipped like you know whatever four bucks or whatever, and I left. And the fucking waiter, I left the blank receipt. You know how they give you one for you and one for them. Yeah, yeah. I left the blank one. And he filled in, Uh-oh. I forgot the number, maybe like 500 bucks or something. What? Instead of $5, he made it 500 So I woke up, accounts overdrawn sure. by like a million dollars. They hate you with the 35 Alarms are going off. Time. Right. So I wake up like panicked and- uh, The suit's gone. I go to fuck it. <laughs> My dad's pissed. <laughs> Took everything. <laughs> I, I, I'm like, fuck this, I'm going in. Yeah. Because it was like Champ Sports Grill or whatever. And I, I go in- <laughs> <laughs> They closed that day. That was their last day in business. What? So he knew. And like I walked up, boarded up, closed up, out of business. I was like, fuck, you, you got me. And it I was kinda, intentional. I, yeah, I kind of respect the, the, the chess of it all of, hey, man, fuck. You got to be a wow. real piece of shit as a server to do that. Yeah. I, sure. wa- I waited tables for so long, and, and I always wanted to do it because some people were fucking real dicks but never did. You always got to take that other receipt or crumple it I, up. I always, I haven't never, I still take it with me I've every never, single time. Never thought about that. In and my make life, sure so that your good. dollar signs fill up the rest of the line. Yeah. Whoa! Don't just do, do like five big. and leave it in the. You put your own dollar sign in there. Right. Holy. Man, that's how they get you. Yeah, I'm a cash guy. I'm all cash. cash. You do cash for the tip, even Everything. if the meal's on the card. Yep. Really? Yeah, you can write off the meal, but you just tip in cash. Huh. And that's I think they like it too. Yeah. yeah, yeah that's, that's a very that's a very That's old school. Yeah, it's a very old mom thing to do. Oh, is that mom? Oh, my mom does. I'll, I'll give it they want it in cash. They want it in cash. Uh, yeah. Give it to them in cash. See, my mom's the opposite. She was the checkbook cunt. Uh, the CBC. <laughs> the CBC. Yeah, she would go to the grocery store. Hang on, there's a fucking <laughs> line out of the door. That was my normal mom would back do that then. Too. I was a cashier. Man, this I was a cashier to at a supermarket for a long Me time. Too. And people would break out the fucking check. Oh. And at this point, it's all credit and debit. It's yes. all credit debit, barely any cash, all credit debit. This is 2004 you know, or five or whatever. And somebody would come with a checkbook. It yep. would take like nine minutes. I know. Nine minutes to fucking, eh, eh, and yep. two forms of ID, yep. this whole thing. Kick rocks. It's crazy that, that they do that. You could also cash your checks at the bank, can't you? Or at, at the, the grocery store. Grocery store does check cashing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, you want to talk trash. She would do the coupon. She was a coupon <sighs> whore, too. She would be clipping all morning. Really? Hey, oh, yeah. I, yeah. Go in there and load up, huh? Yeah, and she'd be like, look at that. I saved 11 cents. You're like, that was a, that was two hours. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know. And you bought something be- only because you had the coupon. You didn't necessarily. That wasn't on the list to begin with. Right. Yeah, then you got four <laughs> gallons of olive oil. Yeah. Or whatever. We're not going to use lemon lime pine salt. What are you right. doing? Let's go. Right. Uh, I hated that, man. People would come in with. The- I get it if you're, you know, if you're trying to. Trying to save a buck, I get it. You know, time got a family. A what are you going to do? Of course. Sure. But some people also like the juice. They oh, like yeah, the, they the, like the, the they, they like that the, show, the rush of couponing it. or whatever. Yeah, yeah. And bringing it back to Halloween, we used to get a free icy. Whoa, coupon. That's pretty. Did good. You guys have icies? Yeah, yeah. 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 Icy okay. Slurpees. Same. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We Water. Have you mean icy the the polar bear? Yeah. yeah. Oh, those yeah, are yeah, all yeah. right. You got a free. That was a coupon, so the lady would throw it in, and you're kind of like, oh, what's this? An IOU for a Snickers? But no, it was uh, a. <laughs> That's it was a, an icy. I like that. Game. Oh, they would give that to you. Yeah. Then you go to the the Seven Eleven, and they were like, all right, go nuts. That's not bad. My mom one year really killed it for a couple of years. She gave away cans of soda. She got a huge oh, fucking that's the fattest shit I've ever heard. She of got life. a huge cooler. Iced it down, cherry cokes, cokes, what? Pepsi's. I'm telling you, man, the kids loved it because they would hit that house if it was a seasonably warm right. Halloween. You hit that house, you got a screaming Mimi cherry coke waiting for you. Ooh. That's all right. Ooh, that is good. Shout out to Patty. There's no beverages on Halloween. Never. No. You're dying. Good point. Speaking of bev- my dad, was, my dad and all the other dads would drive behind, like you know how like slowly behind. They'd be like, "Oh, we're a couple houses behind." Yeah. Just everybody in the ah. car. There would be five or six dads in an SUV or minivan yeah. just slugging beers. Wow. How about what Patton told slugging us? Beers. Can we say that, what Patton told us? Oh, yes. It wasn't a bit or anything, was it? No, no, no. I was talking to Sean Patton at Skankfest. His family, they wouldn't give him a bag. He would just they, he had oh, to yeah, eat the candy crazy. in between houses. <laughs> what? <laughs> now that's bad. Holy shit. How that's crazy hilarious. is that? I wow. forgot about that. <laughs> Dude. Wow, you get diabetes by the end of the night. <laughs> it's insane because you don't want to waste it. I like it. Yeah, you don't want to. I, I like the idea, but 
I was too much of a little fat kid hoarder that I wanted to have the candy yes. when I got home. And I wanted to, we talked about, I'll break everything out. It's a Savings bounty. account, yeah. checking account, split it up. Start yes. making, start cutting deals. Right, Woo. get rid of that peanut candy. What was that thing, the shape of the peanut? It was oh, like the a foam, fluffy. yeah, the, it's like a packing peanut. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. circus peanuts. You didn't uh, like those? Love here. them. No way. Huge. Oh, what are circuit. you, ISIS? Oh, <laughs> yeah. my God, those things are a nightmare. <laughs> those things are from like the 1700s. Not a fan of the yeah. infidels, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> but I like a circus peanut. Yeah. What would your What would be your parents' vig? My mom was. My mom would dip into I the Snickers. I get Snickies. all the crunch bars. Yeah. Snickers yeah. is what they would take. My mom would take. Say, my dad was a chocolate douche, so he would just pop over the uh, the Reese's. Pe- Reese's was my number one. The, the mini cups. one, the cup, Ooh. crazy the, with the gold wrapping. Oh, that was my. Oh, you like the oh, little little really? one? The little one, I think, is a better ratio to chocolate peanut butter. That's crazy talk. Oh yeah, mm, I'm no. telling you. A I fresh single. Really a fresh them. single. A fresh single is solid. Where they, the one side is a little more chocolate than the other and nah, has that bite. No, no, I want equality. What? Do I you, want an do you iteration. The commercial. Take it easy, AOC. Will you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this guy. <laughs> do you remember the commercial where they put the hole in the middle of the single? But it was like yes. It was. It might have been like Macaulay. Call. It was like a famous actor. I feel that was. Doing the commercial, I could be wrong. Will Arnett does them now. But to, really? to try to get the circle was like every kid tried to like knock out the zigzag. Yeah. I was just fucking licking buttholes. <laughs> right. That's how it started. <laughs> but I felt like on the mini ones, the ridges were a little crunchier. I'll give you that. It was a crunchier bite. Thank I, for you. sure. For sure, crunchier there bite. There was a crunchy one for a minute, wasn't there? Wasn't there Dude, a crunchy one? There's a potato chip in it now. Buddy. <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you don't try to get him hard? <laughs> what are we doing here? <laughs> I already came across it about eight months ago. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Came. <laughs> <laughs> I came across it about eight months ago, and it's not just in a, it's in a big one. It's in the big cup, okay. which are wild. That's a lot. That's like a speedball. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when they put the Reese's Pieces in a cup? Uh, uh, holy that's, shit. That's killed Belushi. <laughs> that's too much, dude. <laughs> yeah, the chip is, is, is wild. The, yeah. salty, the salty and the sweet, man, I really missed a boat on that. Yeah, as yeah. As far as my fat tenure. Right. Seems like you're making up for it, so <laughs> we're all good here. Everything checks out. Uh, 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 all right. What about the wedding? Talk. Tell us about that. You're getting hitched. Congratulations. Getting hitched, and the lady, of course, started out with the old, uh, hey, we're going to keep it light, keep it simple, keep it small, and now it's just full-blown, all-out ticker tape. Or have, how many references to the ticker tape am I yeah. use? But it's just all in. We got a second line. We got a huge band. We got crazy food. It's going to be nuts. Where, nice. Where, where are you I doing like it? That, if you though. can say, what state? New Orleans. No, you're doing it. You're doing it. Is she from down there, too? No, but she's from uh, Boston, so we figured it's a little more fun. Gotcha. Okay. A little less fighty, too. Maybe not, actually. New Orleans uh, is a you got the full. Place. You got the full band. Full band. We got the Saints band. The band who plays opens for the Saints. Jesus. I got a little right. power, too, now. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's right. true. That's true. We got some big uh, big hitters coming who's, down there. Uh, who's the biggest going, if you don't mind me asking? Well, I asked to tell and he was incredibly touched but I'm I can't, at the funny bone or yeah, something. Yeah, he's can't got... imagine he would take off for uh, <laughs> something or have a suit I would assume <laughs> yeah. Ian's is plus one uh, <laughs> Ian's got to do five minutes up top <laughs> <laughs> he got me a pack of Marlboros <laughs> F smoked he would show up with like two suit jackets yeah. on <laughs> right right yeah from That's like uh, right. what is it toys for t- what's the, the, the t- uh, cars for kids no the homeless coats uh, the, the coat drives the, yeah, wait, the what the uh, blue but there's, there's a Good Salvation coat. Army? Yeah, yeah, there's a one for coats. I don't know. Coat, hobo, cover the hobo. I don't know. <laughs> I've never heard of that. But I'm telling you, there's a, there's a hobo coat drive. <laughs> a one warm coat? Uh, New, maybe not. New York Cares coat drive? Ah, uh, forget it. I think they're just called coat drive. I don't know. Maybe Burlington Coat Factory? There you go. All right, <laughs> we'll go with that. We'll cut all this, make us all look good. Yeah, <laughs> cut it all. Cut it all. Got it. Uh, cut it, print it. But All right, I, so it, you don't think a tell is going to show? No, and then I threw it at Rogan, but I don't want. I feel bad asking these big guys because I don't want them to think I just want their star power. Sure, of I course. actually like them as people. Of course, sure. of course. But I didn't ask Jerry. Yeah, I mean, come on. That would just Maybe. be like a uh, really. You would, I would like a, I would I would like a nice gift from Jerry though. That's that would true. Be nice. If you I'm ask, sure he's, that's pretty he's good. probably the classy kind of guy that's going to send the gift anyway. I'm not going to that, but here, uh-huh. take a porch. Send a gift. That's what rich guys do. They send yes. a gift. Send a gift in my apps. You got the gift. I can't make it, but you got the gift. Did you go actual yeah. invitation to a teller or verbal invite? Verbal. What about Rogan? Actual invitation? Verbal. 
Yeah, because then you got to ask for his address and all that right, kind of stuff. Right, right. Yeah, that, the invitation stuff was a nightmare. And comics are so hard to pin down. Well, that's so also, that's active. what I wanted to talk. It's because we're a shifty bunch by nature. Yes. Right? We're not good at planning. We're, you know, has anybody been like, I, I, has anybody tried to bring an extra person too? That's oh, a big yeah. thing. Oh, like, yeah. Hey, I'm seeing his, I'm trying to like, I'm trying to bang this broad. Yeah. Can I bring we, her and really wow her? Yeah, Stavros. <laughs> but uh, he's coming. No, I'm just kidding. But we had a guy do that. I had a bachelor party in Florida. We went all out. Sure, I and saw. One guy brought an extra guy just like randomly. He shows up. He does this move. He shows up with the guy and he goes, do you guys mind? Is it cool if Steve's here? He's standing right there. Come on. Holy shit. But he eventually Was did. Was it Bert, by the way? No, no, no. Uh, he, the other guy did so much blow, he went to the hospital. So we, we lost him anyway. He's really? dead. Jeez. No, I'm joking. He's not dead. But he's he, he went to the hospital like night two. So that kind of took care of itself. <laughs> hey, 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 you bring cool. an extra guy on top of that, you bring a fucking bubble gummer? What the <laughs> fuck? Kid can't hold his shit. Yeah, what real are we doing rap. here? But yeah, so the wedding's gonna be it's gonna be nuts. That's nice. You're doing tux or are you doing suit? I'm going because you're a little fashionable. You, you got no. now you're all right. You do okay. Okay, I'll you take do okay. it. You play it down, but you do. You're a good looking kid. You got tight uh, body. You dress nice. What are you talking hey, about? Well, I, it's, this is all free. This is a burger joint, my friend zone. This is, uh, this is That's a like the free gift. Yeah, I love a good freebie. You but, do. Yeah. yeah, you do like pinching the first a penny. wedding to be sponsored by sheath underwear. <laughs> <laughs> Robert Patton. Yeah, the veil is pink camo. Yeah. Uh, Everybody gets a manscaped. Yeah. The fucking, how many how many groomsmen? How many bridesmaids? Keeping it easy. She's doing the traditional. I don't. I, I think marriage is silly. I think it's antiquated. I'm doing it. That's you it. know, that's nice to say the week of your wedding. Yeah, look, we, we've had a long talk about it. I don't even get what the gays want to do with it. But uh, sure. she uh, she's going. She understands, and she's got her friends and sister. And I just got my brother as best man. He'll do a so thing. So she's gonna have a row, and it's just you two. That's exactly. pretty good. Exactly. Lot, I feel a lot of people are doing that now because the guys are going like i don't fucking care. yeah and it gets competition-y people are like why didn't he pick me and i and you know comics are we're all fickle and insecure mm -hmm. so just going with the brother and uh no speeches no nothing no speech no religion like no speeches no religion yeah Very good. who's marrying you sean Patton. nice yeah he's so, officiating he'll he'll do his thing but so there's no best man speech at the at the dinner uh the rehearsal not the rehearsal. Oh. At the reception. Well, typically there are speeches at, like, a standard, normal rehearsal, people do give speeches. The rehearsal oh, dinner, really? you at mean? the rehearsal dinner, yeah. Really? Yeah. When I go to, like, the, the weddings of my non-comic, normal career friends, there's always people give speeches at the... Are you having a rehearsal dinner the night before? We are, but it's just a, it's a fish fry. That's fun. Ooh, and a crab fun. boil. It's That's New Orleans, right. you know, yeah. we gotta have a boil. The families know each other, they like each other, they get along, all that stuff. We got the parents to meet up <sighs> was the scariest uh, thing. a month ago, and it was, it went well, but it was, boy, it was awkward. Yeah. That was the first time they met? Yeah, well, it's, you know, Boston, New Orleans, and they're old, Holy so they're not shit. really uh, doing a lot of traveling. Yeah. Yikes. But it was awkward. But they they went well, and then they, they all shit on Trump, and that, like, brought them, that there brought some go. kind yeah, of yeah, uh, yeah. bonding. <laughs> Find a common is enemy. Is, yeah. is he invited? Uh, Trump? <laughs> Got Don Jr. there? <laughs> well, we might need more blow. <laughs> <laughs> Bring the Yaccarino with uh, you, are you kid? <laughs> What's going on with President's sons and the, and the they're cocaine? All, they're all, I mean, you got to think about it. They grew up super rich kids. Rich kids have no responsibility, you know. Right. They, they, they just get to do whatever they want, party the whole nine yards. Yeah, I remember these videos of Hunter Biden doing crack with the hookers and Man, I some of those are wild 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 and I remember thinking like first I'd love to hang with this guy, this guy Dude, parties, it looked yeah. like a real good time <laughs> I know that wasn't that was a crazy amount of cocaine a lot of coke it was so much coke the, the camera was even blurry it was like you know it was like that it, it was like going back to like 15 years ago it was right. so wacky <laughs> heavy rocks dude heavy yeah, rocks heavy rocks bring the scale that's when you know you got a problem I know and uh but the whole time I'm like why is he filming this it's on meth I, or crack. Well, that's right? what I said. Yeah, he's on yeah, crack. Yeah, 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 he's not thinking. Yeah. So there you go. To jerk off. To jerk off to it later. Yeah, that's what I would assume. Probably. Yeah. Yeah, we filmed, we filmed the bachelor party, <laughs> and we quickly deleted that. Yeah, I saw Mans was there. <laughs> yeah, he was filming we were, everything. We, we had were to... with Bert right after that. Like a week <laughs> Shout out to Mans. Later. Mans is all right. I love Mans. Good egg. That guy's done everything. He holds, like, he holds like world records. Yep. He's, it's like crazy. He's the man. I mean, he's a, he's a known pedophile, but he's the man. <laughs> <laughs> Mans, I love you. No, no, we love you, Mansy. Cash bar? You doing cash bar? No, no. all open. That's fine. <laughs> I would have kicked him out of here if you said, yeah, cash bar. We got a keg. <laughs> <laughs> Bring your own cup. Five bucks dog. a cup. <laughs> <laughs> have you thought about a honeymoon? Yeah, you're not going to like it. Uh, hold on. 
Let's see if we can guess. You'll never guess in a million years. We're going to Wuhan. No. <laughs> <laughs> Here, the markets are nice Try this the time of year. A <laughs> uh, guy like you. <clears throat> now you got you no, guys. You're saying if we'll never guess. So all right, that might Tahiti's yeah. out, Hawaii's out. All you the travel tropical. a lot. Yes. I, I see you on vacation. You guys go. Europe's out. I would assume. San, Fran- out. San Francisco. No, the U.S. is out. I would say the U.S. <laughs> Nashville. Uh, hack. No. Nothing hack. No Paris. No Hawaii. All that's out. Out. Puerto Rico. Ah, come no, on. That's still the U.S. Yeah. Ukraine. You going to Kiev? <laughs> <laughs> going to the front lines, baby. Not bad. Not bad. Oh. Is it Europe? No. Thailand? No. Did you get some, like, Crazy baller suite in New York, so like some top, nah, some nah, penthouse. Nah. It's not the U.S. It's not Europe. No. You're not taking a cruise, are you, dude? No, come on. I kind of want to do one. You going to space? <laughs> <laughs> South. It's not South America. Nope. Antarctica. No, no, that would be hell. Finland. No. Sweden. No. Africa. Oh. Going Morocco. to Cape Town. Cape Town. No. How about this? Tanzania. Cape Town. We're going to South Africa, Cape Town, Johannesburg, one of those, and then we're going to do it up, beaches, restaurants, the whole thing. Zip up to Kenya Ooh. for the safari. Ooh. Nice. Well, here's my thinking. My buddy, we were, that, that's going to be our next Patreon goal. What? Is we're, if we, when we hit 10,000. When we get 10,000 patrons, we're going on no a safari. Way. Dude, yeah, yeah, we yeah, can't yeah. wait. Whoa. We were scared so you're, in the you're beginning. In good hands yeah. here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm in. Hear ye, hear ye. <laughs> Let's talk about established titles once again, my friends. One square foot of Scottish land, you could be called a lord or a lady. Mm-hmm. Pretty sweet. Guys, and let's be neighbors, baby. The first 200 people purchase a title pack using our link will effectively be next to our plots within a few walking distance. We can start a small army of garbage out there in Scotland and take over. Let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, like the big man said, you get at least one square foot of dedicated land on a private estate in Edelston, Scotland with an official certificate and crest. Your certificate has a plot number so you can see the location of your land. It's a great last minute gift for a loved ones. Uh, they even have couple packs, so you and the lady or you and your bands or whoever can join a plot of land. It's fantastic and makes an amazing last-minute gift. Savage Titles is currently running a Black Friday sale. Plus, if you use the code GARBAGE, you'll get an additional 10% off. Go to EstablishedTitles.com slash GARBAGE to get your gifts now and help support the channel. Do it. Yeah. Kip, let's talk about honey. Honey, baby. Gang, today's episode is sponsored by our good friends at Honey. It's the easy way to save when shopping on your iPhone or computer. Save a little ghee, baby. There you go. We love online shopping, but it happened to all of us. You shop it online. The cart's full. You go to hit buy. Then they ask you, do you have a promo code? You got nothing. It's taunting you. It's looking at you. Like a bozo. You stink. But thanks to Honey, searching for coupon codes is a thing of the past. Mm -hmm. Honey is the free shopping tool that scours the internet for promo codes and applies to the best ones that fit your cart. Guys, it's fantastic. I I fought it for a long time because I'm not a tech guy. And then they became a sponsor. It's seriously that easy. You're checking out, it pops up. I just bought a pair of shoes. You're checking out, it pops up because you want to apply this 10% coupon. You go, the fuck I do, baby. Yeah. Let's go. Save me some cash. Let's go. Uh, it's fantastic. Uh, I love Honey, and you will too. I never go shopping without it. Everything on my computer, bing, bang, boom, runs through Honey. They save it. If there's Sometimes there's nothing that's whatever, but if there's something, they get you, baby. They find it for you. Uh, did, you did you know Honey doesn't just work on your desktop? It works on your iPhone too. Just activate it on Safari for your phone and go. save on the go. If you don't already have Honey, you could be straight up missing out by getting it. You're doing yourself a solid and supporting the podcast. We never recommend something that we don't use. It's true. So go... Get Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash garbage at joinhoney.com slash garbage. Do it. Yeah. I think this is fantastic. That's all awesome. Right. Also, it's like you've been I don't you've know performed what the, all over the world. Exactly. All, you know, so it's like you've done Europe. It's like, well, yeah. Done Europe, to- China, done Mexico, done uh, Puerto Rico. I've performed mm-hmm. everywhere. Hawaii. Kentucky. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Yeah, of course. Go. Still so, think about San Fran, though. Yeah, so all right. Good, all right. Yeah, you can chill on the sidewalks. What's the, what's the, what's the, the beach sidewalk. scene like uh, in Cape Town and uh, beautiful. Johannesburg? Beautiful. Yeah, it yeah, There's a lot of money down there, too. Oh, yeah. yeah. And it's a, it's a little dicey. There's a lot of pickpocket and the apartheid stuff was awkward. Mm-hmm. But uh, it's everybody raves about how pretty it is and how developed it is. And then you can fly right up to, to fucking real nature and, and yeah, see a yeah, giraffe. Yeah. We were talking. What, what, where are we doing? Tan- Tunisia? No, we Tanzania. thinking Tanzania. Hey, there you my go. cousin lives out there. there. That's, Love it. That's that's out there, baby. Do it, man. That's, you two guys on a safari. I mean, it's like a Marx Brothers movie. <laughs> that would yeah, be great. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> They're going to be riding this guy. <laughs> 
there's there's people from like Norway taking pictures of him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Put down the elephant gun. <laughs> no, no, no. It's my partner. Yeah, that's Foley. <laughs> no, that's gonna be awesome. Nice. Now, I, that's all. That's really fucking cool, man. Is that right after it. the wedding? You going? You no, going? no. We're gonna. I, I'm such a cunt. I booked all these gigs. Yeah, he doesn't like taking off. Yeah. So, uh, so how long is this? Because that's a that's a long way to do like a weekend. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. You don't, just, you don't fly 18 hours to going on President's Day for <laughs> four day weekend. <laughs> well, he got off Monday. Technically, it's a bank holiday. What uh, what are you thinking? We're thinking, you know, uh, 13, 12 days, yeah. something like that. Which Good. there you go is gonna. I'm gonna be twitching on the th- day three, but you know, <laughs> finding the monkeys. Hey, have you ever heard? You know, yeah. <laughs> will you do any spots over there? Well, Monroe Martin uh, told me about a hot room also, in, in Zimbabwe. From a, from a business standpoint, you do a little dance over there. She's a write-off. You got that right, baby. Dude, take a GoPro, film some stuff, yeah. put it up on the something. But yeah, you can write that all off, baby. That's yeah. good. So that'll be fun. I think he's going to write it off anyway. <laughs> yeah, I'll find something. <laughs> yeah. I'll write one bit out there, and I'll tweet it. And hey, you like podcasts, hon? <laughs> yeah, me too. All right, yeah. cool. Write that off. <laughs> all right. That's great, man. Congratulations. Hey, That's thanks. awesome. Appreciate it. A lot of guys are giving me shit about it. You know, you tell comics anything, and they're like, oh, can't get the fuck out of here. I'm like, when else would I go? Of course. Yeah, so why, that's why what would, he said. How'd like, they give you shit for that? That's a fucking awesome fucking honeymoon. I know. Yeah. Well, you know, they're like, you got to go. There's a great bar in Cincinnati. I'm like, what the fuck yeah. is that? Cincinnati. You know, you know, you know how comics are. <laughs> of course. Of course. I do think there's a thing. I think it comes with age a little bit, too. Like, as we get older, and like, I mean, you've been fucking doing comedy in New York for how long? 15 years or yeah, something like 16. that? Yeah, you know? Yeah, so it's like. You've earned it, you know what I mean? It's like you've traveled all over the world. You've fucking busted your ass. It's like, yeah, take eleven days. Take and go eleven days with your wife on your honeymoon. Yeah, Man, it's not doing crazy. theaters, baby. What do you mean? Yeah, fucking and the next there. marriage, I'll go somewhere else. <laughs> that's when check you out hit that Cincinnati. bar in Cincinnati. <laughs> <laughs> Save a couple of uh, bucks, right? Uh, that's great. That's good stuff. Congratulations, Thank brother, you guys. man. We're Thank very you. happy for you. We're happy mm-hmm. about the tour. Let's also, do a- too, by the way, check it out. We got some bodega. Hey! Oh yeah! Hey! Shout out to Sam Morell. Hot tamale. Thanks, guy. Wait, you're married. I'm married, yeah. No, yeah, yeah. any advice? It's a lot. Ah! Uh, <laughs> I mean, you've been to together for a while, living together, yeah. right? Sure. Yeah. Well, same shit, right? I talked to a comic last night. I'm not going to say who. He's like, once I got married, it all changed. Like, think she got weirder. She got more insistent on this and that. And I was like, oh, no. So I, I had a... I had a moment with my lady. I just don't went, go change it. Yeah, I went straight to the house and I was like, "We got to talk." And I told her everything, and she was like, "No, don't worry." So no, it, it is. It is. Uh, awesome. It is. It's the same. Canceled for the most my part. spots but, and ran right home. Yeah, I did. <laughs> it was scary. There is a little thing or two of like it just kind of sets in like the you know foreverness of it. Of sure, like, sure. Oh, this you know we have to figure this out now because. It's not like you can just like walk away. I mean, yeah. you essentially can. Uh, you know, you don't want to get papers. divorced. No. no, no. She's a great gal. I'm very lucky, and uh, I'm excited. Of course, of course. Of course. We're very happy for said you. Said in jest. Yes. Um, nice. All right. Well, this is. Let's see. We got to get. We're, we got to get to a couple of questions. There's always a, a good time with this, Mark. Sorry, I've been yapping. My no, I love it. It's great. It's awesome. Um, all right, let's see here, guys. So as you know, uh, when you sign up for Patreon, we will answer your garbage question on the air. It's just the best way to do it. We get a lot of submissions, but this is the best way. Uh, mm-hmm. So stop hitting us up on Instagram because they ain't going to make it. Um, this one's from Joseph Smith's wife, number 12. Is having your house and property back against a local country club or golf course classy or trashy? Ooh. I feel it can go either way. Usually those people are... they get their their members no it depends if the house is like also on the property yeah like condos and stuff like that like my, my aunt, aunt has, has yeah my aunt has oh, a condo really? in south carolina that's on a golf course that's different than just living next to a golf course. like where de niro lived in a casino they were up against a golf course. That's classy. That's classy. That's yeah. real classy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it also depends. Are you rivaling them? Like, oh, they won't let me in, so we're getting an above ground. Well, yeah. I mean, I've been on golf. I used to work at a golf course, and you know, there were some properties where you're like, oh, you, there hasn't been a guy back here with a weed whacker in you know four right. months. Type. That thing. was the house that was there before the golf course. Was exactly. 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 That's, that's yeah. what I would say is probably trash tra- on the yeah. trash here. It could be on the trash. If you were smart. You would take that shit and run with it. I never understand when fucking um, they, people give pushback on shit like that. If you fucking take care of your backyard, that's going to raise your fucking property value. I completely agree. Right? 
Front yard, too. You might catch a Titleist while you're fucking mowing the lawn. <laughs> yeah. What are you going to do? And I'm sure the country club went to him and said, hey, we're building. Can we have this? And some old guy was like, "This is I've been here 28 the years. Hold yeah, off, yeah, yeah, the hold off. So fuck that. Sell. Sometimes sell. they get paid, yeah. but sometimes they go, fuck that. And they just like build around them or whatever. Then yeah. They're just kind of screwed, you know. Right. And you got living this, in the middle of hole 17 or whatever. Yeah, there's a white trash temple right <laughs> yeah, in the middle yeah, of the yeah, golf yeah, course. Yeah, yeah. Uh, golf course is, isn't that trashy. The, the biggest one. Is and I had a I had my cousins live there for a while next to a cemetery. Oh. Ooh, it was the backyard then a cemetery. Ooh, talk about I'm not out a- of there early from dinner. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Goodbye. I'm not a big ghost guy, like you know whatever, but like Doesn't that would matter. give me the heebie-jeebies That's a no little fun. bit. That's not a positive energy of like walking by dead people. It's always a chain no. link fence too. It's never a nice fence. Chain link fence. Yeah, chain so link true. fence is a bad look though. Put some ivy on that shit. Cover that up. Yeah, Something. Yeah, yeah. So you guys, you guys are PA. Yeah. Yeah. So did you guys grow up with woods? Uh, yeah. In wow. certain, like not in my name, but like, uh, yeah, close. Like we would go to the woods, like you and just really? get lost. And like you know, that's where you smoke cigs. That's where you Whoa. find porn. That's wow. where you fucking build a tree not house. Like, not like forest, but like. Uh, they were kind of cool. I mean, my neighborhood. Between neighborhoods, kind between of. Between neighborhoods. Yeah. There'd be like patches of wood. You wouldn't get lost in there, but no. you could get. You could you hide could in there. disappear in there. Yeah. Whoa, that's that's a nice treat for a kid. It would be like a 10, 15 minute walk through the woods into another neighborhood or like Damn. a creek or whatever. Or they might lead into like bigger woods and shit like that. That's fast. I was such a city kid. I didn't. I was scared of the woods. Yeah. So, but you guys are looking at porn in there. We had to go oh, find yeah. weird basements or something. Well, shit. there was always like the 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 you know the neighborhood urban legends too of like there's some sort of yes. satanic devil worshippers that meet there. My buddy's older brother saw them right. or whatever. That kind of shit. There was some weird shit. There'd be like a ho- there'd be like a half burned down house yeah. back there. Ooh. Maybe like a weird like rock formation with like satanic shit written yes. on it and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. But they were just probably pink- high teenagers in the yeah, 80s yeah, or whatever. Yeah. Fucking yeah. Pink Floyd kids. Fucking right. Smoking there was, up back there. There was so there was this set of woods next to my buddy's house where we were probably like twelve or thirteen, twelve or whatever. We'd go back and like we built like a tree fort and we would jump into the water. Like it was like over like a what? creek or whatever. This is unreal. It was great. It was really cool. It was really cool. I still summer. can't wrap my head around what your neighborhood looked like. I know what it looks like from uh Miller's Crossing. Yes, but that's, that, that's my house. I know. That looks like a suburban neighborhood to me. No, I mean, they were big. It's a row of bigger houses, but it was all, they were all like yeah. kind of dilapidated. Is it like LA? So if I walked out of that neighborhood, it would be more urban. It'd be city. Yeah, for sure. Really? I all mean, right. I lived eight, uh, six blocks from the French Quarter. Oh, so you fuck, walk six really? blocks and you're in it. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah. There's so. no woods there. There's no, no yeah, 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 yeah. No, no. Having some woods was all right. I bet. I'm Porn jealous. stash. Yeah, we had a, an old black guy named Forrest. That was like the closest we got. <laughs> He's a good guy, too. Yeah. His porn was pretty good, though. But we did find the one time, uh, it, was, it wasn't it was six feet deep, but it was the size of a coffin with, like, the fresh dirt on the side of it. And we walked by it. We were like, cutting through this way to get to a buddy's house or whatever. And we stumbled upon, like, what exactly looked like an open grave. Uh, and we were like, what the... We all like panicked. Yeah, Fuck we that. stood there for like a minute, and we're like, "What do we do? Do we come back?" And we just kind of like shut that area of the woods off forever. Wow. Like, never. I don't want to go over there and find it buried, like find it covered up, and then I got to go to the cops or whatever. Yeah. I'm just staying out of it. Let's go find some cigs or something. Yeah, you can't go Yikes. to the cops. Yeah, could have been a mob hit or something like that. Maybe they didn't kill him in Bucks County, Pennsylvania. Maybe. Maybe mm. you don't know. That's where they buried Maury. The watch. <laughs> Throw him out there. <laughs> Maury had no idea how close the game to getting whacked. <laughs> We had a house, like a half burned down house in one of, in one of the woods, very Blair Witch, and it was fucking frightening. Also, that shit dropped when I was that age. I was like right. thirteen or whatever. So that shit, the woods at that point, you go fuck that. Let's I was in my twenties, and that scared the shit out of me. Oh yeah, I hate that shit. Paranormal Ooh. activity, all that. I'm, I'm a, I love those wuss. movies, but they scare me. Yeah, you fuck with the Conjuring at all. No, that's too much. Too really? Much. Same way, Can't I don't do it. With it. I don't uh-uh. want to be scared. I don't like horror movies. No. I don't get it. I don't give like roller mob, coasters. Give me a fucking Matt Damon or yeah. somebody. Somebody, give me a guy. Yes. Midnight Boys Run was too scary for you? Yeah, <laughs> that I can deal with. <laughs> Midnight Run. Just rewatched that the other night. It's awesome. That uh, holds up. Oh, yeah, it does. Shout out to Charles Grodin. Hmm. Whatever happened to that guy? I think he passed away. Ah. Um, all right, this one's from Howie. His full name is Howie Feltersnatch, and it took me a minute to get. <laughs> it took me a minute to put that together. Uh, Mazeltov, Howie, Kanye's lawyer. <laughs> 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 
Is it garbage to tuck your ears up into your baseball hat? Ooh, yes. good question. I, I never got that move, man. That's weird. Yes. That's weird. Yeah, that's up there with the sunglasses backwards on uh -huh. the neck. That's not a great look either. Which I've found myself doing just in, uh, like, moments of, mm -hmm. like, I need, like, sure, I don't want to sure. put them down. I'm like, all right, I'll do that. And then I'm like, fuck, I'm the guy. Yeah. Like, if, I, if I'm, like, doing something, I'm like... Fuck! I'm the guy with them on the back of my. When head. I was a kid, right. the only one that did that with the ears under the under the baseball hat was the kid that was managing the team. You know what I mean? The, uh, the you know playing slow poke. Yeah, playing the ball boy. Mm -hmm. Got it. Got no, it. No, it did become a thing in la. Uh, you know, the hip hop uh, scene. Guys would tuck, and then when the fitteds became cool, they would wear big ones and tuck their ears in. Nah, yeah. no good. Yeah, no good. Not my Steve. Not a great that, and I'm not crazy about the flat beak either. I like the beak bent down. I completely agree. I think that's the honky in us. We yeah. like a little curve. <laughs> yeah. Like the curve. Well, back in the day, we would do like, it was like you would buy a hat and you go, well, how are you going to do it? You take like a Snapple bottle and wrap like rubber bands yes, around it. Or, sure. Like yes. really fucking... It was like my brother was good at it. I'm like, yeah. will you do mine, please? You know? It was almost like a, a catcher's mitt where you had to fuck really with it. Really work mm -hmm. it. Yeah. Work the edges. Yeah, yeah, yeah. D we were kids when the remember the college. Uh, yes, I can't think of the, the white name. Hats. Yeah, the kid oh. Cox. Cox was big. Yeah, I can't those think of the name huge. of the fucking huge. company. But the, yeah, one of those all worn in, bent yeah, down. Yeah, that Ooh. was big. And, and see, I'm from Louisiana, so we had a guy with a fish hook. He'd put that on the bill, and that was cool. These and then we things. Had, it was just like the generic text. Yes, those wow, were huge. They were fucking huge. All the guys are getting laid in in New Orleans were wearing those. The game they were called. Yeah, that, look at that one. The Wilver makes those. These, yeah, yeah, they're called the game. I think. Peckers, yeah, yeah. Men's the game white. Yeah, yeah. the Gamecocks was huge. That guy cleaned up for <sighs> five years, whatever God it was. About those, those were big. <laughs> yeah. yeah, fish hook, and then there was a thing with lighters. Oh, like the when fish hook was big. Fish hook was big. You put fish hooks in there? Yeah, right there, just you, on the bill. Well, so we see people come to the shows that still have. Oh, really? Well, like if you're in the south or whatever, they'll have or you know a little more hickey spot. Uh -huh. They have uh, they have the fish hook on it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Huh. I never noticed that. And the lighter, sticking a lighter up well, there. Well, once a lighter is done, you can take the metal off and clank it right onto the uh, bill. And that was like, big, too. Yeah, like the the, case, the outside case yes. that like, you can take off. Exactly. You can clamp that. I think I've seen that. That makes nah, sense. Never seen that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, all right, let's see. This one's from Dave Smith. Uh, yeah, you wouldn't see a yarmulke with a fish hook. That, no, that's not no, happening. They can't, well, maybe a white fish hook. <laughs> uh, all right. Yeah, yo. Hey, good to have you go. back. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody hits. Uh, this is from Dave Smith. Do you know any woman who says, suck my dick? Yeah, that's a tough look for a broad. every girl in Philly. Yeah, suck my dick. Yeah, I like that. Why don't that. you suck my dick? It is a little. That's nice. When a girl hits you with that, or calls you a bitch, right? When a, when a woman calls you a bitch, man, that really t steals the soul out of you. I got a I got a lady on the road. I couldn't get it up, and she called me the old. F A really? Jesus. Yeah. And I was like, Did that get you hard? It <laughs> <hard. laughs> yeah. comes immediately. Yeah. Yeah. Still couldn't hard. get hard, but came. No, no, no. I liked it. Holy shit. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Well, hey, look, we can all be toxic. It's not just men. Of, there you go. <laughs> of course, of course. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, all right, let's see here. This one's from Steve. New $20 homie in the UK. What's up, buddy? Uh, is it garbage to buy cigs from the duty free shop at the airport and sell them for profit to people when you return home? <laughs> of course, like this guy. that's of good. Course. I always think of that. Like of my brain works in the sense I go like, what's it normally called? I can get it. I like a good deal. Yes. No, this guy's an entrepreneur. Good for him. <laughs> I think it's even trashier if someone's going. So hey, you want to? I'm going to Ohio, or I'm going to Delaware, or I'm going to whatever. You want me to get you pick you up a carton? Right. I'll pick you up a carton. You want me to get you a carton? I'm getting a carton. You want a carton? I don't like the cartons. No, it's too much. It's too much, man. You're it's, I bulk. know I'm going to fucking crust through 20 packs of heaters. Exactly. Yeah, I used to do it when we, when we moved to New York. I would go home every now and then. And Sigs were, at the time, like six, seven, six, seven bucks in Philadelphia. But the, here they were $15, like $14. Yeah. And as a super poor comic, you're like, oh, yeah. I'm like, if you're smoking, you know, a couple packs a week, I'm like, this is 50 bucks that right. I don't have on top of what I'm already willing to spend. Do you still smoke? Uh, nah, I quit, uh, but Skankfest was a tough one. Uh, I bet. Skankfest was a couple of beers wide open at the tables. You could smoke inside. Oh, a good time. It's also, too, those things, you know, a lot of us all have anxiety and stuff like that. So it's like, you're in the green room. I'm like, I don't know anybody. And I'm like, I'm going to go smoke. Like, that's right. what I do at social. I'm like, I'm going to go smoke. And then I'm out there and I go, I'm going to go to the bathroom. And then I go, I'm going to get a beer. 
I'm just like constantly doing yeah. those three things. Did you ever smoke? So I have somewhere to like go. Like smoke, smoke? Nah, I tried it once and I didn't. I didn't get it. Tried it once. I didn't just stick. I hit the hit the you know the cancer stick one time and I was really? like, yeah, I don't get it. Not mm-hmm. for me. What about a cigar? We cigar have- I love. You do? Yeah. I mean, once a month. I, I'm not one of these guys who's smoking bats every night. You know? <laughs> <laughs> these guys. Couple but, of sticks. Yeah, yeah. But uh, I do enjoy one every now and then. But the cigs, I don't know. Not for me. But I get it. I like it. I, I like the look of it. I get it. it's romantic, but yeah. No doobies, right? You don't smoke weed, do no, you? No, no. I do the gums. The there gummies. There you go. For right. sleep Everybody's on the Gentlemen. gummies, dude. Everybody. I know. Yep. Should have had these fucking 20 years ago. I know. Probably what about the, the, the roll of Sig guy? He was cool. He was all right. It's a lot, though. And then you asked a bum, like, I'll be like, oh, he's a Sig. Like, I'll roll you one. Yeah, and that got then real he's, like, lame. Licking it. Yeah. I'm like, dude, yeah. I can't just, can't, you can't just hand me something wet. Good point. That I have to put in my mouth. I, I just didn't think can't about do that. It. Well, the, the thing is, no phone. Before phones, you needed a cigarette. Yeah. You got outside. It was a thing to get away. Of you know, It was some kind of uh, conversation thing. Mm-hmm. You know, you're not just standing there like a dope. True, but then it also does open the door of, like, you go out to smoke a cig, and then you're like, all these crazy, That's anybody true. can get you now That's at this true. point. Good you're point. just whoever's out there. You're like, well, these are my friends for four minutes, type thing. Yeah, that's, that's worse. No fun. That's worse than the cancer. It, it's an right? <laughs> awkward conversation. <laughs> yeah, oh, thanks. Um, hmm. All right, let's do a couple more here. This was from Jack Vandalay. <laughs> <laughs> from Vandalay Industries. Art Vandalay. <laughs> you want to be my latex salesman? <laughs> Have you or anyone you know ever hired a private investigator? Ooh, <laughs> which is a one. home run of a question. Good one. Because that's never good. No, 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 no. It's, it's either like really poor shit or like. Like, you know, very high end corporate execs yes. like just call cheaters. What do you know? Yeah. <laughs> Plus you get the screen time. Right. Have no. you ever done that? No, but I, I like the PI. I, I relate to them. I He's respect the, them, yeah. Yeah, the pizza boxes, the beer cans, the car, Hawaiian yeah. shirt. Yeah, the I like that. That guy. doesn't start all the time. Yes. He's a com he's a road comic. He's a road comic, yeah. He lives in a come studio. On, come on. <laughs> He comes back to you with shitty stuff. He's like, so, she likes uh, peaches. <laughs> he's got bad bits. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's, bad, he's bouncing premises. Right, right. <laughs> I like that guy, though. Mr. Jenkins. You like yeah, him? he's down and out. He's on his yes. own. He's looking for a win. Yeah. Usually an ex-cop. Yeah. Got ran out. Off the force for some reason. I think yeah. cops look at him like we look at TikTok comics. You know, we're like, ah, you're not doing the real thing. Yeah, Get out of here, yeah, you queef. Where's, where's your badge? Yeah. yeah. Always giving him shit. Uh, that's mm-hmm. funny. That's really good. Mm, good um, one. All right, this one's from Daniel. $10 homie here. Uh, is it garbage to haggle with a stripper? Ah! Yes, man. <laughs> Stop with that I mean, shit. It's, ah, I've done know, it. It's, I've done it. Sometimes they do open the door. Yes. Right? Uh, you know. I was recently at an establishment, uh, and they open up the thing, and if you say, they're like, hey, it's only $100. I'm mm. like, you know, I forget what the number was. And you go, no. They go, how about 70 I go, well, mm. now you've opened the door right. to some negotiation. How about 15 huh? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> how about six inches? <laughs> about six? This guy's a, what are you, a porn star? Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I, I'm, I think that is crazy, but I have done it. I and have, also, like, there is not a price tag on it. Like, sure. there, you know, there is things open for interpretation but a little bit. It's awkward because you're basically saying she's like, hey, 50 bucks, and you're like, Look at you. Yeah, I know. Come on. Mm-hmm. You're 50? You're not 50. It's tough. So that's why it's hard. But it's sometimes got to be done. Maybe. I got a coupon, lady. What are you talking about? <laughs> I, my mom sent it to me. <laughs> How about a coupon for a free slurpee? Imagine doing a checkbook with a product. <laughs> <laughs> or a stripper. I think haggling at a rub and tug is worse. That That's you should just go like, whatever it is, yes. it is. I'm yes. here. But... Especially they have control of your joystick. Ah, if you under, if they give you a fucking. Mm. Good yeah. point. Good point. And she's gonna be greasing her palm, <laughs> <laughs> greasing the shoot a little bit. Yeah. Uh, hmm. All right. Let's see here. That Half off, but no loop. What hey. the fuck? Uh, I just found a private investigator in New York who seems to spend most of his time yelling at people who give him one star reviews on Google. Ah. That's fun. That's a TV show. Uh, that's all right. That's a show. That's all right. <laughs> now it says here you gave me one star. <laughs> After I found your dead wife? <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, yeah, Michael McKeever is pissed, dude. But let's be honest. In his defense, if you could give cops a rating, I, they'd I, be fucked. Well, you can rank, I think, on Yelp or whatever, like Google reviews. Like You can go to like the precinct. Really? In the neighborhood. I think if you're in, just like pull up Google Maps. 
And it'll say like NYPD precinct whatever or whatever. Are there reviews? I think people are like, I went here because my cat was stuck in a tree. That's and whatever, hilarious. Whatever. I think. Jesus, really? Yeah. Well, they have a monopoly. You know, they, there's no competition. <laughs> Break it up, will you? Yeah, the police. What do you mean? <laughs> well, Start our own police force. I, well, hey, Uber did it. Cab <laughs> sucked. True. Check this out. One star review from Captain Jen Miller. Would not accept my offer or locate my old lover. Whoa. <laughs> to which Mr. Michael McKeever responds, you should be embarrassed, Captain Jim. The real issue is you didn't want to pay and you know it. Jeez. This guy's awesome. This guy's all right. Yeah, get him on. Besides <laughs> trying to use the doubtful captain claim. He's taking shots at his rank. Plus he doesn't <laughs> plus he doesn't do uh he doesn't do creeper jobs. Find my ex lover? That sounds real suspicious. Yeah. Oh, let it go, man. She's a whore. Yeah, no <laughs> shit. Uh who was it? I think it was uh Nathan for you did a he hired a private investigator to find himself. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Day, yeah. And he had a bunch of guys look like him, like leave the house. That's brilliant. That, that guy's awesome. Ooh, that, that guy's kid's all right. right. Dude. Funny I think guy. Mr. Beast did a similar thing too. It was like, if you can catch me, I'll give you a million dollars or whatever. That guy's crazy. Oh, oh yeah. He's got the money to burn. Yeah, um, all right, let's do one more, then we got a wrapper up here. Uh, this one's from Dave. Are you garbage if you still look under the cap of a 20 ounce bottle to see if you want anything? Oh, that was big back big, then, man. Big. I remember taking off the little blue, the little yes, blue thing to see ooh, if you could read the code or whatever. Off. Exactly. That would make my blood run cold, and my nail would get like under it. It was ooh, tough, it was tough to get out. I need a pair of tweezers. Oh yeah, that oh yeah. That was like taking the the nipple. Uh, what do you call those things? Clamps? No shit. Boobs. Cut this. You know the nipple on a stripper. She had a what do you pasties. call it? Pasties. 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 Thank you. Sorry. I don't think I've ever taken a pair of pasties off. Ooh, it's but fun girls to peel. wear those now. They have the little the little so suction cups. Oh yeah. really? Yeah, so they can go no bra. Ah. I like their yeah. you know their antennas aren't out. Keep Good the girls free. Mm -hmm. I think I like an antenna. But they don't oh, like it. They don't like I They see. know that you like the antenna oh, and shut smart. down shop. Yeah. Smart. All right. It's that's a nice fair. restaurant. Who doesn't what like an doing? antenna? You know Love what I mean? Love a popper. <laughs> <laughs> a couple of that, blueberries. That doorbell, yeah. <laughs> Have you ever won anything like that? A contest? <laughs> Any sort of uh, giveaway? I've won like a free, another free coat. Free ticket but or still, whatever. still, yeah, that yeah, was yeah, big, yeah. you know. But I, there was a lawsuit, and you can give this a goog there, hog. But there was a lawsuit about uh, a guy drank a Diet Coke threw it away, the janitor found it, had the cap, $1 million, and they had to fight over it. Really? I, really? Think, I think the janitor won. I would I, assume, I could be because wrong. at that point, it's like no longer your, I mean, but it's he's, no longer your it's property. But it's a chicken and the egg kind of a uh, Solomon cut the baby it in It sounds half. like a case for the private investigator. Yeah. Yeah. Gonna lie. Get <laughs> Captain Jim on it. Get the big guy on it. I would split it at that point. Yeah. He'd offer to split it. I don't know, man. I guess the general five hundred G. You, I found this. It's like the abortion argument. You know, is it your cap when it you bought it, or is you it, threw it away. you didn't who's, throw it? Yeah. You know, <laughs> so who's who's the winner? I'm here? not raising that cap. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> <laughs> It's my brother's soda. I can't have it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Mark Norman. Thank you. Theater buddy. tour tickets at marknormancomedy.com. Hey, hey. We might be drunk. Tuesdays with stories. Anything else you want the folks out there to know? Uh, you know, I got a Netflix thingamajiggy. I got a YouTube special called Out to Lunch. Let's pop that puppy up to 11 mil. We're Woo! right there. We're at 10.9. 10.9 million. Yeah, That's so fucking awesome. Tell a friend. Follow me on all yeah. the queefs. If you're not familiar, I, you, I mean, I'm assuming. Of course you, they are. If you're yeah. not, he's the fucking one of the funniest, hardest working com. I mean, it's 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 wild. Go check him out. Yeah. All right. If, you, if you've been living it. under a rock, you bozos. Absolute go check him out. killer, buddy. We love you. Thank you for Thanks coming for and sitting with us. Man. Kippy, what do you got for him? Guys, we're all over the road as well. We have, uh, I think, like 10 shows left for the end of the year. Get tickets to those. Boston, the second show's probably sold out. Philly sold out. Rhode Island, there's a few tickets left to the second show. I think Atlanta's got a little bit left on the first show. Yeah, Get come those see us, gang. It's Charlotte. Good time. Come see us down in Charlotte. Selling out, baby. Yeah. Get those tickets. Pick up the card game. Card game might still be available. Ooh, uh, uh, yeah, that was fun. If not, that might be out. Just, you know, everything's in the description. Check it out. We love you, gang. Oh, yeah. Get Bodega Cat. Bodega Cat, yeah, let's there you go. do it. Sorry. Bodega Cat Spirits. Do yourself a favor. Tie yeah. one on. <laughs> Hell yeah. And since it Bodega Cat up. is tasteless and odorless, <laughs> well, it'll be -G -N -I. our little secret. <laughs> See you guys. Peace. Praise Allah.